I'm Joe Quector here with a box of Panini um, plates and patches. I see that there are a few people uh, that logged on to Ustream to watch this about uh, 2 o'clock Pacific time on Saturday. Uh, Panini sent over the plates and patches and then a t-shirt. I'll be uh, giving away both on my blog. I'm joequector.blogspot.com and of course I am joequector.com so uh, watch for those and uh, we're going to go ahead and start breaking this and see if I can get the chat window open. Oh well. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and break this now. I have it recording on my camera over here as well. So um, I've seen some kind of mixed bag of breaks with this to a degree. Uh, I believe there's one encased card um, per box. These run between 130 and 150. And uh, it's in like a prime cuts type box. So hopefully I'll be able to get this open. And not look like a total spaz like I normally do, but I think my chances of looking like a spaz are pretty high. So. Seal off there. I'm going to put the, uh, case card under the thing. So it's come in a box just like uh, Prime Cuts did. Okay. So um, anyway, uh, first card is a Brett Favre out of $4.99 base card. Second card is Brandon Graham out of a hundred. Third card is a City Limits um, out of 299, Mount Ryan. The uh, next card is a David Reed, I'm sorry, Victor Cruz, jumped ahead of myself. Out of 50. Next is a David Reed autograph out of 249. The one thing I will say about these is that with the way that they have the sticker uh, on there, and you know I'm not a fan of stickers, so bring this up, um, that it doesn't look as bad because it's not just over the top of a regular picture. That was one of the problems that. Um, um, you know, like score has where you can't even see the auto. So, and that is numbered out of 249. Next one's the Javier Arenas. And that is uh, numbered out of 249. Problem with this card, the corners here and here. And then on the back, there's some white on the corner. So the corners on this card really aren't as strong as they probably should be. Uh, the cardstock doesn't feel quite as good as uh, Certified did, so watch out for that. And then the next card is a Reggie Wayne jersey out of 100. And then the last card is a Chris Johnson out of 4.99. And then the encased card is a uh, Joe McKnight auto. Single color. Not sure where the gold would come from. See how it's gold right there? I 
and that card is out of six ninety nine. So there you go. Uh, that's the box. Um, you know, when you're measuring value of a box like this, it can be pretty difficult because you're getting essentially a patch auto per box, which you don't get in a normal box. But you're also not getting the base cards, you're getting some of the parallels and things like that. But uh, value is kind of a tough business when it comes to these. And um, it seems like this product might be a little bit hit and miss. I personally like Joe McKnight, uh, USC player. Uh, but uh, that's just kind of, um, you know, when you're spending that kind of money, uh, at least it's a name. And so that's important. So when you're picking up these boxes, uh, you know, I might expect these to be 110 to 130. Um, probably not a bad deal when you compare to value. And I think that's one of the things that as collectors we don't do. We don't do comparison of value. Now, when you are comparing value, if you look at, say, 2008, 2009 SP Authentic, that you could easily pick up between 90 and 100 about release. You're getting three hard signed autographs, including one being a, a patch auto. Um, so the hard, the hard side is obviously a, uh, a big deal there and you're getting it for $30 less. Uh, you're getting some base cards in, in 2009. Obviously they had some, um, SPs and things like that, making set building a little bit tougher. I don't know if the set building of 2009, um, ever really took off. Um, but, uh, as far as value goes, I think SP authentic was probably a little bit better value in some ways, but. I think that the possibility of, of hits are better in uh, plates and patches. Uh, for example, uh, I think you're going to get a better mix of um, Hall of Famers and things like that, autographs and patches, which you're not going to normally get out of SP Authentic, although they did have like the rookie um, rewind where I think during one of the 2008 box breaks I did for SCU Uncensored when he was having his monthly football box breaks. There was a um, Barry Sanders auto jersey that was pulled, and that was quite a quite a card. So um, there's some back and forth. So I think on value, uh, I don't want to quite put this on par with SP Authentic, but um, you know you are pulling three autographs and a jersey. Um, but I, I don't know if the names are going to be quite as good. But in retrospect, when you look at SP Authentic, there was a good chance that two of your autographs. We're going to be pretty, um, pretty rough. Um, so I mean, I, I remember pull, opening up like four or five, six boxes or something like that, and uh, I did okay. I got a lot of uh, RPAs, but the other autographs, uh, I just don't. You know, sometimes you're really hit and miss with those. Um, I will say that the presentation on these cards is nice. You don't really have to worry about condition. Um, the the design is pretty good. Uh, decent use of white space. I just don't know where that gold. Somebody can tell me where that gold uh, patch comes from. It says it's prime, but I just can't. Uh, I just don't know. So anyway, somebody will probably be able to tell me. And I'm probably missing the obvious, but anyway. So there it is. I'll be giving away probably the cards as a whole. I, I might keep the McKnight because, like I said, I'm actually a fan of his. But I'll probably give all the cards away all at once, like I did with the Timeless Treasures. Um, I am waiting for a few uh, addresses, uh, the winner of the Timeless Treasures, and then things are funner here on that CJ Spiller jersey, and then I need to ship off that uh, autograph from Rookies and Stars that I gave away within the last week. But look for a giveaway coming up with these uh, pretty shortly. Anyway, thanks.